in Chinese medicine, our pharmacology is herbs. In Chinese herbology is a subspecialty of the medicine. You don't need herbs to practice the medicine, but they can get things done quickly or more dramatically. The Chinese herbology is very different from the European tradition of herbs. In Chinese herbal medicine, an herbal formula can contain anywhere from 2 to 14 or 15 different herbs. And each formula typically is individualized for a given patient. The way that Chinese medicine looks at herbs is that Anything that you can put into your body, food, herbs, anything, has a specific effect on the body and everything that you ingest has certain qualities such as coldness or heat or bitter or sour, different flavors. For example, certain herbs such as ginger um, is very warming. Ginger is what we call pungent, so it moves things and it tends to calm the stomach. Other herbs such as ginseng, or in Chinese, renshen, uh, is a very important herb. Ginseng is not the kind of herb that we would give indiscriminately to people. Unfortunately, in this country, ginseng has been touted as a cure-all for almost any condition, and it's not. It truly isn't. Ginseng, there are actually several different kinds of ginseng, and depending on your complaint, that would dictate the kind of ginseng you would be on, what herbs we would pair it with, and how long you would be taking it. To take ginseng indiscriminately is equivalent to taking penicillin indiscriminately, just because you think you need it to ward off colds. So would the body get immune to the ginseng, like it can get immune to penicillin? Well, that's a good question. If it, it could build up a tolerance to ginseng. Uh, the other thing is, if you don't need ginseng and you're taking it, it's not going to do any good. It's the same thing as if you don't have a cold and you take penicillin just because you think you should take it to keep away a cold, mm -hmm. it doesn't do any good. But it doesn't do any harm either, though, right? Um, well, that depends. See, just because a product is natural doesn't mean that it's safe. And herbs can interact with medicines. Ginseng can have a profound effect on a person taking Coumadin, which is uh, a blood thinner. Ginseng can prolong bleeding time. So if you're on Coumadin and you're taking ginseng, that's not a good combination. And there are many, many interactions between medications and herbs. That's why it's so important to see a doctor of Chinese medicine before you start taking any herbs. Thank you for that advice on herbal medicine. You're welcome.